In step three, now that we've seen the different options we can choose from, now we have to start selecting sounds. So I'm going to start with a drum loop. When I click on drum and percussion loops, I can choose a drum loop. This is going to have the full drum beat, the kick, the snare, the boom, boom, pop, pop tss, 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 sound. Or I can pick hi-hats. This is only going to have tss, tss, tss. Or I can do it with no kick or just percussion. This might be something like congas, bongos, things like that. So when I go to drum loop, the very first thing, the main thing that I want to pay attention to is two things. Of course, what it sounds like, but most importantly, this number in the beginning. This number represents the tempo. All right, so this is 80 beats per minute. Let's hit play to hear preview. So that's what 80 sounds like. This one says 100. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, a little faster. What about 120? All right. So sometimes some of these, anything over, probably anything over 120, you can also imagine cutting that in half. Maybe that's 60. But it's very important, once you pick a tempo in a drum loop at 80, you wanna make sure that every other loop that you pick is in the same tempo. Now when you find two different sounds that are two different tempos, there still is a way to make them work together, and we'll get into that in another video. Once you find a drum loop you want, you click on it and you press open.